is evil more than good and lying rather than to speak righteousness thou lovest all devouring words O thou deceitful tongue the most high shall likewise destroy thee forever and yeah Esau gonna get destroyed forever like he said uh, America act like they are great, uh, the greatest nation on earth. They claim they bringing freedom and peace to the earth. They don't do nothing but bring death and destruction to the earth. They stabilize countries. They just stabilize countries. They killed Saddam Hussein. They killed Gaddafi. They done, they done overthrew all kind of governments throughout the earth. They done shot missiles on all kind of nations. Like they, uh, they, they said they about to go into North Korea because they, they said North Korea is not allowed to have nukes. But, it, but America can have nukes, right? The only country that ever actually dropped atomic weapons on humans was America. Shouldn't that be the ones you should be worried about, not the people who never did that? That's why that's why Iran got a nuclear program. That's why North Korea developed a nuclear program. Yeah, to protect themselves from the crazy motherfuckers. That don't make no sense. That's what you call a hypocrite. That's why the scripture says this. Thou lovest all devouring words, O thou deceitful tongue. All like your boy Donald Trump, he got a deceitful tongue. Done broke every campaign promise. Where's that wall in Mexico? They ain't building no goddamn wall. He never intended to. You know what I'm saying? Where's Obama? They still got Obamacare, all that. He ain't changed a goddamn thing. You know what I'm saying? He over there with Saudi Arabia right now, just so what, like a $100 billion, $10 billion or something crazy. $110 billion worth the arms of Saudi Arabia. They guaranteed immediately. That 100, right. that 100 million is guaranteed immediately. Here it is, Saudi Arabia. They said they claim it was all Saudi and Arabian terrorists behind 9-11. Okay? Uh oh, ISIS was all Wahhabist Muslim to come out of Saudi Arabia. But do they attack Saudi Arabia? No. They attack Iraq instead. And then they want to say Iran is the number one sponsor of terrorism. And they ain't never attacked nobody. That's who these devils are liars. God shall likewise destroy thee forever. He shall take thee away and pluck thee out of thy dwelling place and root thee out of the land of the living. So all these Edomites, they're going to get plucked out of the land of the living. They all going to be put to death. The righteous also shall see him and fear and shall laugh at him. <laughs> so we're gonna laugh at these devils when they get to school. Lo, this is the man that made not God his strength, but trusted in the abundance of his riches and strengthened himself in his wickedness. And that's what America does. That's what all these leaders of the world do. They, they put their trust in riches. That's why we just talking about Trump over in Saudi Arabia trusting in his riches you know what i'm saying he already a billionaire he over there uh making a billion dollar arms deals with the the, the saudi royalty but i am like a green olive tree in the house of the most high i trust in the mercy of the most high forever and ever i will praise thee forever because thou has done it and and will wait on thy name for it is good before thy saints. I mean, that's the point on that one. Quick precept, Isaiah 48 and 22. There is no peace, saith the Lord, unto the wicked. There ain't gonna be no peace unto the wicked. They wanna do all this wickedness, terrorize the whole world with all their bullshit, they gonna get terrorized, okay? And they gonna get terrorized by us. The Lord's gonna give us power, and we gonna torture these devils. That's right, that's right. This is Sharat 12 and 10. Never, never trust thine enemy. For like as iron rustles, so is his wickedness. Right, you got people trusting in these governments. They still voting. If you still wasting your time voting, you're a retard. You're retarded. You know what I'm saying? Your vote don't count. It shit ain't never counted. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, they, they fought for that during the civil rights movement. Oh. The right to vote. <laughs> That's a goddamn joke. Without the right to fuck the phone. That's some crazy shit. You know, they so they program your ass to trust your fucking enemy. That's that Stockholm syndrome. And you know what they do, man, when they was fighting for the right to vote? They were cracking their heads 
going to the voting station, making it look like they're fighting for some legit shit. It's some crazy shit, man. It's some crazy shit, man. They finally get the right to vote, but every politician is selling their ass up the fucking river. Never trust thy enemy. When is a politician, a president, when is a presidential candidate ever kept all of his campaign promises? Name one. Not once. Name one. It's all some bullshit. And y'all still putting all your energy into this bullshit. You know what I'm saying? That's why the Lord gonna put two thirds of Israel to death. Cause y'all, y'all fucking, you, you love your enemy more than your maker. You know what I'm saying? Your brother too. And, if, exactly. They hate their brother. They hate their neighbor. They do hate their neighbor. Yeah. They look at their neighbor with an evil eye. You know what I'm saying? They're always coveting in their neighbor's PlayStation and that woman. Jake always looking to rob you. Thinking, oh, I know when you go to work, I'm going to kick in his back door. I'm going to take all his shit. You know what I mean? That's why the first thing you do when you move into the hood, bro, you got to you, you gotta put your house, you got to put the bars on the window. Why you got locks on doors? Because you can't trust nobody. That's why. They got a bunch of evil demons out here. You can't trust hardly nobody out here. That's why there's locks on doors. You got more than locks. Like you said, you got to put bars on your windows. And they still find a way to get through. They'll come through the goddamn chimney and steal your shit. wife a little food. Yeah, you'll, oh, there you go. Wife a little bit. wicked woman a little bit. Yeah, home faking. I'm working hard for this bitch. Feed this bitch. Working real hard to feed this woman. And she'll lie to you. Wow. Uh -huh. He overpowered me. I paid for my, I got my wife a new car. I love her a new car. She loves me, man. Okay. Yeah, home. She's bending it over for another nigga, you know? <laughs> bending it over, too. And that, man, you, I never, honestly, I'm, I'm being honest, man. I never thought I'd look at asses in disgust. And these bitches, is everybody shaking their ass, and what they call that, twerking or something? Yeah, it's twerking. That's some disgusting looking shit. Even if the bitch got a bad body, it's disgusting. Oh, God. I never thought I'd say that. You man. know they ain't eating. Eat. They not eating right either, you know what I mean? Booty hole stinking. The pussy smell worse than the asshole. You don't know what you doing. Yeah, you, you gotta check out what you're doing. What's wrong with my you, yeah. you gotta turn on your light on your cell phone because niggas love their cameras. So a woman love you turn that camera on anyway. She well, she got a Pornhub account. Yeah. You know, you don't even know about it. She already got an account. She got like a yeah. hundred videos on there. Right. You know what I mean? Right. Her and her girls. Her and her girls. <laughs> yep. Her and her crew. There's not more wickedness out here. Wicked. Wicked. He got an account, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> he got one. Yeah, he got one too. Yeah, gay side. No. That's on the that's on the um, hers the, gay, is, the gay. Hers is a mature side, whatever you call it. Oh, uh, he's with the horses? Right. <laughs> all, all these motherfuckers got, they got an account. Multiple videos. Multiple videos with thumb ups. <laughs> yeah, thumbs up. <laughs> hey Joe. Hey. That's Esau, man. That's Esau. Esau. That's Esau. Hey, 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 hey man. Hey dude. Oh uh, yeah, romper. Yeah, the, we went into that last week. Yeah, the romper. That's the thing. You know, it's another thing they got out now. It's called um, to the. Um, oh yeah, the men, things they wear. Man kings. Yeah. Men with bikinis on, bro, running around. I seen the ones they wearing in Europe. The men bikinis. It's like a half a bikini. It only covers up. Look, it, it only goes on half the side. That's what the package is. Romper. What the hell is a romper? Hey, you wear a romper, won't you? That's Romper Room right there. He got every color of them. He got all the colors. All the colors. Because these sodomites love to shop. They love shopping. These sodomites got the best jobs and got the money to continue shopping, man. I was fucking with this bitch, man, had a good job, man. And she was throwing shit out way in her closet that still had tags on it. Lord, my witness, man. She was giving it away, man. My sister was doing that too, man. Giving shit away, but still tags and still just throwing it away, man. Just, people just, what you call it, uh, enjoying their delicacies. Their, their abundance of delicacies, man. This is an old saying, uh, the abuse of plenty will bring the harvest of famine. I don't know where I heard that from. It's always stuck in my head. See, you just not good. That was Caesar's voice, man. That was, uh, that was, uh, Machiavelli. That was Macabella. 
Psalms 55, same thing. I won't read the whole thing, but I'm going to just start down here. So, Psalms 55? Yeah. For real? Wow. Whatever is you about to start at? Uh, I want to start with. I, I wanted to read the whole thing. I, I want to read the whole thing. Psalms 55 and 1. Give ear to my prayer, O God, and hide not thyself from my supplication. Right. We out here, you know, praying the Lord. Here, here are our speech right now. This is our supplication. To the most high attend unto me and hear me i mourn in my complaint and make a noise psalm 55 yeah because we out here complaining and we making a noise and yeah i know most people that hate this noise y'all can't wait till that bus comes because of the voice of the enemy because of the oppression of the wicked for they have cast iniquity upon me and in wrath they hate me my heart is sore pain. My heart is sore pain within me, and the terrors of death are falling upon me. Fearfulness and trembling are come upon me, and horror hath overwhelmed me. And I said, Oh, that I had wings like a dove, for then would I fly away and be at rest. Yeah, because there ain't no rest out here. You know what I'm saying? And soon the Lord gonna literally going to give us wings like doves. And we're going to fly like eagles. The Lord going to give us spiritual powers. And we're we gonna, we gonna smash heathens to pieces. We're gonna be like Superman out here. What y'all gonna do with a bunch of crazy Israelites with superpowers? Get them in there, babies. Y'all gonna be, you all be sore afraid. <laughs> Get them in there, babies. There you go, baby. Lo, then, would I wander far off and remain in the wilderness. I would hasten my escape from the windy storm and tempest. I ain't worried about that guy. I'm trying to read scripture. Uh, this is Psalms 55, and uh, this is this is y'all people out here. Ten. Day and night they go about it upon the walls thereof. Mischief also and sorrow are in the midst of it. Wickedness is in the midst thereof. Deceit and guile depart not from her streets. Like but look, this scripture say to uh. Oh, I, I, it's different. Yeah, it's it's different. It got spirits on it. My man, we all have. Some people. Some, some a lot of people do. Some got good. We got the Holy Spirit. Spirit. No. It is a spiritual world. world. It's all going to be destroyed, too. And let me finish this script. Destroyed the Tower of Babel. No, I said the Lord going to destroy all these buildings. Well, we know, but Donald Trump over here is going to be right there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you said, yeah, he was praying on the wall. They're getting ready, man. Yeah, that tells you that he's a puppet of the so-called Jew, Esau. Because he put that little yarmulke, the little kippa on his head, and went and prayed at the wailing wall. Now, what scripture goes so say to go pray to a wall, go dip, 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 dip. You see that motherfucker dancing with the sword, the sword dance? Nah. That's an Edomite for you. Trump was dancing? Yeah, he was, nah, well, if you want to call that dancing, <laughs> that shit looks so goddamn stupid. <laughs> I mean, stupid. Hey, yeah. And the heat and the heathen shit, what they was doing was already was already unbalanced. But I told he you, made it even worse. There's rumors too that uh, that the Saudi royalty are actually Edomites. Right. Yeah. You know he's what I mean? a, he's a, he's, they're Edomites. 
he saw him. He looked like a Chinese man. He looked like an Arab. The, the Muslim, the Muslim common people know that. Yep. They said they've been known that for years. That they have, you can read the history, and they, that's why you got so many of these Christians. They'll say the Edomites are uh, Arabians. That's not true. Just, just the royal family. Because you can tell they got that spirit. They look like the so-called Jew, like Amalek. Just like just like the twelve tribes look like everything. Yeah. Esau, the same city, yep. same predicament. Yeah, you got brown skin and Edomite. I mean, I, I know it, like dark skin Edomite, man, like dark skin motherfucker. And his son, and his son is an Edomite, and his mom is a Jake. There's a white woman. She a Jake though. Yeah. She got trapped up in there. And she wondered why she was so stressed out, always stressed out dealing with the motherfucker. Yeah. Sorry for her. That's yeah, what she did. Hell, man, I witnessed it, man. I was they abused the shit out of that woman mentally, man. They destroyed her, man. They broke her down, man. But anyway, the father is black, like, black, black, man. Black, black. I mean, black, black. Weird and everything. But he always had that weird spot. He was around him. He always was quiet. He didn't fit in, you know. I always thought he didn't like us. But he just never couldn't relate to us, you know. The spirits weren't violent. Right. That's how we know who Israel is, because our spirits be vibing with people, you know what I mean? You can read the songs, you can read the songs, man. Psalms 9, up, bro? I'm gonna read the Psalms 28. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start at 1. Psalms 28 and 1. Don't you see? I will pop. Don't put him yeah, walking the town, man. I used to be running around here talking like the devil. God, the devil. I used to know you, man. Somewhere. You can't be walking around doing that dumb shit like that, bro. Look at your family. Where you doing that? Because, bro. Like, I've been battling Michael and Dave the area. Right. He's telling me he might be talking to you. He's telling me the truth. He's telling me the truth. Didn't the Lord heal somebody that had demons? Yeah, he cursed them demons out. I'm trying to think of what Jesus is. Yeah, Jesus. Yeah, Jesus. Right. But you got to pray to the Lord in his name, man. You have Yeshua. Yeah, not Yeshua. That's Yeshua. why you got the demons. No, you got to say the correct name. Yeah, yeah, how was shot? Name some demons are listening to you. Yeah, how was shot? Demons are listening to you. You know what I'm saying? They get off of you, man. What's up, man? How was shot? What's that? What's up, bro? It means he saves. What's that? How do you spell it, man? Yeah, how was shot? Candy gotta take credit cards. Candy gotta take credit cards. Do we take credit cards? I don't know, man. I don't know, man. I'll take your credit card. Take your shopping, bro. Where y'all from? I can use a free thing. We from all over. All over, man. We're from the kingdom of heaven. We're from Israel. We're from Eden. Yeah, we're from Eden. East one. East of Eden. <laughs> nah, the man is not. Where are you from? Just yeah, from Jerusalem. The top, top, top. I make the shells rock like out of four ninja turtles. You about to start rapping now? <laughs> My man. Uh, wow. Uh, <laughs> just see, I like your threads, man, but I want mine better. So some people I'm just not out here out. looking for the You know? And it's just going to be that way until they're. The Lord is going to do a mercy killing. Hey, we got songs you had, man. Mercy yeah. Forget them scriptures out there. Yeah, the Lord's going to do a mercy killing. Some of these people got to put to death. Because they just... Yeah, you fuck the Lord. Why? That's the Lord talking. That's the Lord talking. Where are they at by? That's the Everywhere. On every, every other page. The Old Testament. And the New Testament. The New Testament speaks about the book of Revelation. You can read it talking about the Lord and the angels come back. Man, it, 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 he said he gonna tread the wine press. What does it mean to tread the wine press? He's gonna stuff on the grapes. But what, that's head. He gonna be busting grapes. No, his father just his father tread. Tread the wine press means yeah. stopping fools bro, like grapes. Bro, listen, listen, listen. It said his garment's gonna be drenched with blood. It said one drop. Now listen. Now he's reading the Bible. He's not <laughs> reading the book. He's not reading the book. Message to the black man or reading. In the Quran, this is the Bible he's reading, okay? Zechariah 13 8. It says, And it shall come to pass that and it all shall come to pass 
And all the land, saith Yahweh. And all the land, saith the Lord. Two parts therein shall be cut off to die. Two parts therein shall be, and that's talking about only the Israelites. Two parts therein shall be cut off and die. So the Lord's going to kill two thirds of our people because they just no good. Well, that's going to happen yeah, too. Yeah, that's right. that's, too. that's, that's know, that that's nuclear that's missile that's going to burn these people up. Yeah, the missiles. And that's what the, when that's the, about the that. Lake of Fire, yeah. those are thermonuclear missiles that's going to be sent from overseas, China, Russia, That's how two-thirds are going to be Union. killed with the missiles. And that tongue's going to melt. America. Their eyes are going to consume and the way they're going to shoot missiles. And that's when the lake is getting lifted up and they're looking down on the Lake of Fire. The Lake of Fire is America on fire. Is America on fire. Okay, that's the lake of fire. And all two thirds get a free the food pass. The eyes mm -hmm. is going to fall. What causes that to happen? Radiation, yep. high radiation. You know? And rich uranium. <laughs> right, right. And this is biblical. This is the scripture. Read it? Uh, yeah, yeah, oh, get it. Lord, get it, get what it. is this man? Oh, Holy shit. Don't come down here. Uh, no, they coming over here. Oh, shit. They coming down here. Zechariah 14 and 12. <laughs> and this shall be the plague wherewith Yahweh will smite all the people that have fought against Jerusalem. Their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet. Listen, say that again. Their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet. What's going to cause that to happen? Intense radiation. That heat. heat. That heat. Heat. You know, and the Lord ain't going to let these people die easy when they heat burn them. When that heat hit them, he's going to keep the spirit in them so they can feel the burn. No justice. Because normally your spirit is just instantly gone. Once a bomb hits you, you splatter. But the Lord is going to put the spirit in these people, the spirit to stay in, so they can burn. They're going to feel the punishment, you know? That's why some of these people is being reserved till for destruction. No matter what happens to them, they're going to live to the end because they got to go through that fire. It's like them fools. Have you seen that movie? Uh, a whole lot of women. Oh, yeah, right. She's holding the fence. She's holding the fence. She's still holding the fence, but she's she's dissolving, right? She's just dissolving all the way down to the bone. But they're not going to dissolve bones and everything. I'm hoping for a fight. They're going to dissolve everything. Every single time, I just like want to hope for a fight. The nuke is going to hit. It ain't just the nukes from the other, from the nation. The angels is coming to shoot off missiles, too. Whatever kind of thermal missile they have. But you remember, as an example, of Sodom and Gomorrah. Fire rained down on Sodom on those factions, on those Sodomites. So the angels is bringing fire also. And that's what's going to complete the job, is what the angels are going to do. They're going to do a thorough job. And what did Ezra say? Afterwards, only thing he could perceive was dust and the smell of smoke. He couldn't see there's a building right there. You couldn't see there's a building over there. The nukes going to vaporize all this. Yeah. It says, back to Zechariah, it says, And their eyes shall consume away in their holes. Hey, do, do Pastor Court chop off of these scriptures? Yeah. These churches ain't warning no more, man. They don't know how to warn, because the Lord ain't dealing with them. They try and get paid, they teach prosperity. 501c3 tax charter. And the tongue shall consume away in their mouth. I got a precept for you. The Lord created the weapons for the I get that the devils weren't clever enough. They come up with the technology of using uh, uh, shooting a missile on the other end of the earth and destroying nations. The Lord, yeah. the, of the Lord gave that. Hey, that, that scripture tell you that what well, Isaiah. Uh, I, I, I have created the smith that blow up the coals in the fire. Isaiah 50. Let me get it. Let me see if I'm All right, let I'm me gonna get this. All right. Malachi 4 and 1. For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven, and all the proud. Yea, all that do wickedly shall be stubble, and the day that cometh shall burn them up. Saith the Lord of hosts, that it shall leave them neither root nor branch. We say all the time, those nuclear missiles were not built to be put in a museum. They're built to be used. They, they spend a lot of money, invest a lot of money in the missiles. They're going to use those missiles. Trillions of dollars. Trillions of dollars. One missile costs, what, a billion dollars or something, you know what I mean? They ain't gonna just throw money away. That's right. They're gonna use it. They tried to use them back in the Cold War. But it wasn't time yet. The Lord didn't wake up his elect. In that case, we all would be dead. But and, that, and now the missiles are so advanced. Right. It was for a time. It was for yep. a certain time, man. It was for a certain time. And that time is now. And that's why we out we, we weren't even on the highways and the byways when those nukes were first built. No. Nope. During the first Cold War. <laughs> Before the news, that's a warning before.
before the nukes come. <laughs> That's the warning before them nukes come. Because before those nukes tear, come, yeah, every siren going to be going on. Yeah, they're going to have to siren. Because well, you'll, you'll get like, a, uh, it takes the missiles about 20, 30 minutes to get here from Russia. So you, people's going to see their destruction coming, and there's nothing you can do about it. The TVs, yeah. radio stations, this is, this is not a test. This is not a test. Like Russia just, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's going to be, be beautiful, it's man. It's going to be like every That's radio the day we're praying for. Because this kingdom, wicked ass, stinking ass kingdom, can't live when the kingdom of heaven is established. It's got to go. They got to go. They got to go. This is, this is, they got to go. Here. These devils got to go. <laughs> they got to go. Like the fucking bunch of goddamn fact is going to be out here uh, with they, you know, the second half talking about that noise of the sodomites. That's when they be talking, hi baby, hi honey. You know what I'm saying? That's that noise, that, that crazy talk. You know, you hear them down the street, you hear a bunch of sodomites. That's mm, mm, mm. Woo -wee. Hey, let me get this real quick. Uh, oh, I got that though. Uh, Isaiah, Isaiah uh, 54 and 60. I just go ahead and read that. I got so many scriptures right now. Behold. I have created the smith that bloweth the coals in the fire. Yeah, and the modern day smith is the, uh, it, 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 right, the, the, the rocket scientists, the scientists. There's a science behind making, there's a science behind making a sword. And the can none of y'all make a sword. You know what I'm saying? Where you think that technology came from? All this technology we got, it all comes from the Lord. Your, your, your Android phone, your iPhone, that comes from the Lord. He's the one who gave man that technology. That's it, beautiful. And it all operates on zeros and ones. They make a sword, man. I was watching the video. They add other, other kinds of medicals to get that, to get the chemis chemistry right. Yeah. For that sword, that metal, to get it perfect, to make it solid. You know? How did they figure that out? Wow. They be having dreams and shit. The Lord will come to them in a dream. In a dream. Or they have, because anybody does that, anybody has a good job or whatever. Or you got a job that's, you know, a highly... You ever had in dreams when you're working at night in your sleep, get better at your job while you sleep, you know what I mean? No, they do that. Yeah, no, you can look into the history. Of, if you look into the history of NASA, NASA uh, was uh, founded, uh, what's that, uh, Jack Parsons was part of the founding of NASA, JPL for potions, and JP, uh, uh, Jack, was it Jack Parsons? I'm saying his name right, but he was a student of Aleister Crowley. But there's a whole, you can look into the occult history. Get on YouTube and type in occult history of NASA, and then go into it. And how actually the NASA was actually a result of the, uh, Operation Paperclip from World War II. They brought all the Nazi scientists to, uh, to America, and NASA was pretty much started by the Nazi scientists. And the Nazis were into the, uh, the black magic and the occult. You know what I mean? Let me read this real quick. Because a lot, oh, sorry, but a lot of that science they got, a lot of, when you look into a lot of it, it is magic. It's magic. It's wizardry is what they call it. Right. Uh, this is Daniel 12 and 21. Yay, while I was, this is 9 and 21. Yay, while I was speaking in, in prayer, even the man Gabriel, whom I have seen in, in the vision at the beginning, being caused to fly swiftly touched me about the time of the evening oblation, and he informed me and talked with me and said, oh Daniel, I am now come forth to give thee skill and understanding. Skill and understanding, it comes from the floor. What's up, man? Oh, man. What's up, man? Talk to you, man. Talk to you. What's up with your red beard, bro? The wicked shall flee when no man pursue it. The wicked shall flee when no man pursue it. He just condemned himself. He did.